Hi everyone, my name is Will. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. Today we are going to be doing a collective energy reading for July 4th, 2023. So let's see what the collective energies are for today. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I see that my uh, views for my last video went up and that is amazing. Thank you guys so, so much for that. And uh, thank you guys for liking my videos too. I really do appreciate it and it really helps me get into the algorithm. So this way my videos are shown more on YouTube. So I hope everyone is having an amazing day today. Um, I don't, it is 4th of July here in the United States. Uh, not everyone celebrates the 4th of July for either one reason or another, but regardless, I hope you are having a good day. Um, if you are near fireworks, I hope you get to see some fireworks um, uh, tonight and that you're able to be off of work. Uh, I'm about to go into work. I'm sure everyone thinks that I'm like in some sort of like depression or something because I'm always wearing black or gray, but that's because that's my, I'm usually doing these videos right before I go into work. So uh, that's my uniform is black and gray. So that's the reason why I'm always in black and gray when I do these videos. So just FYI, I'm not depressed. Um, believe me, when I'm not at work, I wear very bright colors. <laughs> it's a whole ba Libra balancing act. But anyways, I hope that you are able to um, have the day off uh, and spend it with loved ones or just relaxing by yourself. So... As always, I do not accept any Archon, Reptilian, Demonic, or Negative Attachments. I only accept light and love in this space. And I would like to ask Archangel Michael's White Light of Protection over this energy reading today. I'd like to ask Spirit, what are the collective energies we need to know about today? What are the collective energies we need to know about today, Spirit? July 4th, 2023. So we're going to be doing a Celtic Cross today. Um, there was one card that just popped out. That is going to be the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like, I feel like maybe, maybe you are having a, maybe your luck's changing. Um, maybe um, fortune, abundance in your life is kind of taking a turn. Um, I feel like that's for everybody right now. I really do. Um, there are <laughs> there are so many different things uh, that we have to take care of, that we have to buy, that we have to. And I feel like the price is going up on everything. So even though we're making the same amount, we're working the same amount, it's just not stretching as far as it should. And I know, you know, the United States has the the least amount of inflation compared to other countries, I understand that. But still, inflation is inflation. When you're working 40, 42 hours a week, you know, sometimes more, especially if you have a family and you're noticing that you can't afford to do the things you used to, that's that's the whole thing. It's it's because of inflation and inflation isn't good for anybody. So, um, I really feel like abundance, um, really feel like you're, ab I really feel like you feel like your abundance, your wealth is like in jeopardy. Like it's just, you're not sure, you're not sure how long you can, you can go, uh, this, in this direction. All right. So... We have the Eight of Wands uh, in the upright as a situation, so lots of action moving in. Um, it's being blocked by the Two of Cups. So I feel like there's a connection that is that could be potentially blocking, okay, new action in your life. So.
there's some sort of connection. I don't feel like necessarily it, it has to be a love connection. It could just be a person connection. It could be completely platonic. Um, it could be like um, a business uh, relationship, like some, like, you know, like between you and your boss or you and a, you know, like your supervisor or something. There's something that's blocking action, movement in your life. I think this has to do with why you feel like, um, why the general energy for the reading is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I really feel like Really feel like it's blocking action this 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 connection that you have all right so we have the high priestess in the subconscious so i feel like i feel like you know that this is a lesson that there's something you're supposed to get out of it there's i'm feeling something but I'm not gonna say it until I until we put the rest of the cards out but I I have this I have this feeling but I feel in any rate you feel like <clears throat> at any rate you feel like uh, sorry about that you, at any rate you feel like uh, you're going you're supposed to learn something out of this like you know this but it still is bothering you and it's still this connection is in this situation is is keeping action from moving in your life um, from coming into your life sorry all right so we have the queen of cups in the upright as the root of the situation so I feel like I feel like uh you are really, really, like, going over your emotions, your feelings. I feel like, I feel like right now you're, you're, you're a live wire, if that makes sense. Like, like your nerves are raw, um. I feel like you're feeling everything right now. And I feel like it really has to do with this connection. All right, and in the past, so in the past you've been feeling like you are carrying way too much, way, way too much responsibility. You're, you're overburdened with with responsibility um there's just a lot you're trying to juggle right now and even though you are juggling it it's not healthy for you to do this it's 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 not healthy at all um he's not dropping any he's not dropping any wands but you see he is barely holding on to all of them okay barely holding on to all of them and he can't even look up because he's so busy concentrating on keeping all of them in it, you know, you know, together in his arms. Like he's, he, he's, he can't even look up, he can't even look around, he can't even enjoy where he is in life because he is so overburdened. Um, and I really feel like this situation, this, it, it has, it comes back to this connection. It comes back to this connection. There, there is something about this connection that is really, that is really stunting a lot of movement and growth in your life. And whether it is or not, you feel like it's blocking your abundance. That was the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. 
that just flew out as I was shuffling the cards for this spread. Okay, in the future we have the Two of Wands in the upright. So you're really... You're at the precipice, okay? You're at the precipice. You see he is standing at the edge of this balcony looking out at everything, okay? He's standing between these two wands and he is, he like, he literally has the whole world in his hand and he's looking out. So he's still searching. You are searching. I feel like you're searching. You're searching for a solution. You're searching for a solution in this situation. Like, you're really searching for it. You're tired of this. You know it's, it's, it's a toxic situation. This connection, this Two of Cups connection that's blocking movement in your life, you know it's toxic. And you're trying to search for a solution to this. And I really feel like you're trying to keep in mind your uh, the lessons that you're supposed to be um, that you're supposed to be um, getting out of this situation. Okay. All right. So we have the hermit. So this is uh, this is how you're feeling. Okay, the hermit. And this goes back to the Two of Wands, okay? So you're doing some introspection right now. You are really, you're really trying to sort out all of these feelings that you have, all these emotions, okay? Um, maybe how you got in this situation in the first place and the solution that, you know, to, to the situation. Um, and you're really, really trying to pull whatever lessons you are supposed to have learned from it as well. So you're, you are, you know, sometimes we go into a hermit mode and it's, every time we go into hermit mode, it's because we need to do some self-searching, um, self-analyzing. And sometimes we use the hermit, our hermit mode, as a way to avoid stuff too. So it's 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 a dual. Uh, <laughs> it has it has two different. Um, it has two different things, um, two different sides to it. But I feel like this hermit mode is, is, is a healthy hermit mode. It's not an unhealthy hermit mode, um, is what I was trying to say. I was trying to get the words out um, that I was feeling. Um, I, feel like, I feel like this is a very healthy hermit mode, though. You are really, you know the problem, you see the problem, you're trying to, you're trying to untangle it to find the solution, okay? Okay, and this is how, this is how other people are viewing the situation. They are, they may be looking at this and may be thinking that you're trying to get away with something, okay? Um, and you're not. Um, and I think this has to do with the hermit mode. Maybe when you go into your, your hermit mode, you get really quiet. You stop, you know, being very social. You maybe limit how much you're talking to other people. Um, maybe you just 
like if you have roommates or if you live with your family, you, you, you just, when you get home from work or school, you just go into your room and close the door. Like, I feel like, I feel like others' perspective is like, you know, you know, such and so is being really, you know, selfish, or they're, they're or they, or they don't want to have anything to do with us, or, or mm, they're planning something, or I feel like there's some sort of, uh, like just assumption that you're doing this on purpose for whatever reason but you're not you're trying to figure this out and you just need peace you need um quiet you need to maybe just go in your room put on your headphones and just you know blast your music and that's that's your process that's how you solve situations by just get going into your zone and just uh and just really just uh, analyzing the situation, your th thoughts, how you feel, that's your way of doing it. Um, but I don't think they understand that. I don't think they understand that. I think they think you're being selfish. I think they think you are trying to get away with something. There's, 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 there's some sort of like negative um, perception that other people are having towards your reaction to the situation. All right, so Ace of Swords, okay? Things to do, things to do. You need to come up with new ideas, new ideas. So, and this, and this comes back to the Two of Wands, okay? You've got to find a solution, you've got to come up with new ideas, you've got to, um, figure a way out of this situation, okay? Or how to deal with this connection, okay? This unhealthy connection that's blocking movement in your life. Maybe, maybe this has to do with a, a boss that is like, they know how good you are, but they are like keeping you a secret. Um, like, when their boss comes and, like, looks at everything, they're like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm doing this, you know, you know, I, I'm, uh, you know, doing a really good job managing this team and all this stuff when really it's you that are putting all of the work in, you're crossing, crossing your T's and dotting your I's, and that's making him look good when it's really all you. Um, and that's, may, maybe that's keeping you from a promotion, you know, um, from being recognized. Okay, maybe this is, maybe this situation has to do with, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe a friend, maybe a friend, maybe there's a friend that every time stuff starts falling apart for them, they come to you and you help them sort stuff out and then they go back out and they're like completely, um, you know, like fixed, so to speak, you know, cause you helped fix their situation, you help them process it all. And uh, then they, you know, may not have much to do with you after that until their next problem they face and then you help them sort it out and then you know you don't hear from them again you know it may be one of those situations those are very toxic situations and they keep you from being able to grow because you have to drop whatever you're doing to help them but then they tend to forget about you once their problem is solved um so I really feel like you need to come up with some ideas how to fix a situation, how to deal with this, this connection, um, because this is very toxic and it's, it's limiting movement in your life, which is affecting your abundance, okay? What's coming in for you. All right, so we have the tower moment. So uh, in reverse, 
So I feel like, I really feel like, um, this is a tower, potentially a tower moment for you, okay? And it's how you get over it, okay? How you get over it that is going to really show how much you've learned, okay? And how much you wanna grow in the future, okay? I think this is a test by the universe to see to see how much you've grown. Um, you may have had similar situations in the past and your actions in this your actions in this very similar situation were not the right ones. You didn't react in the right way. And it's just really, really, it's really a test to see if you've learned from the past, okay? And how can you move past this tower moment? Will you, will you pass it um, successfully, or will you just do the same thing you've always done? Because I'm getting this is this is not a rare occasion. This this has happened before. And what's the energy on the bottom of the deck? Mm, you. You may feel like you are out of options, okay? Or like the universe isn't giving you many options right now, okay? I really do think that... It's a lesson that you're supposed to learn. I feel like this, the solution is very, very simple. But there is something that is tying you up in a lot of your emotions, your feelings, that you're like, oh, I can't, I can't say this, I can't do that, you know, I might, I might offend this person, ooh, what if they don't like me, what if, you know, I, you know, piss them off, you know, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, I don't want anyone to be mad at me. I feel like the solution is really easy, but you are complicating it and you feel like there's not, there's not a, there's not a solution, but I feel like there is, and it's a really simple one, but you're avoiding it and you're trying to, you're trying to figure out ways to go around it and get to a better um, situation. That's not how it works. That's not how the universe works. The universe will keep on putting you in situations until you finally respond in the way you're supposed to respond, okay? And if that means, you know, quitting a job, if that means, you know, telling that friend, no, I don't have time for you right now. I have my own stuff then that's what it's got to be. And I know that sounds super harsh, but if they don't have time for you until they're having problems, then it's not selfish of you to tell them that you don't have time for them when you have your own problems, okay? Your problems don't take a back seat to their problems, okay? And the same goes with a, a job situation. You need to think of yourself first, your health, your money, your, your own mental sanity, uh, like your own mental health before everything else. Like, we live in a free market capitalist society that will replace you at the drop of a hat. If you think you are irreplaceable in, if you, if you think you are an irreplaceable clog, uh, cog, sorry, <laughs> cog in this 
in this uh, free market machine that's been created uh, here on this earth at this time, you are gravely mistaken. They will replace you in two seconds. Will the person that replace you do as good a job as you did? No. But will they do it for the same money or less? Yeah. And will that be okay with the people above, you know, above you, above them? Yeah, because that means the machine will keep running. It may not be as efficient, but it will keep running. And that's what's the important thing about this capitalist society is that all the machines keep running. Um, you know, regardless of how you feel, of, how, of your situation, just as long as the machines are running, that's what's important. And I know it's the 4th of July and in America, and I'm saying very un-American things, but oh well. Uh, not, there is not one economic system that is perfect. There is not. Uh, and we need to really recognize that and realize that not everyone thrives under, under the free market, under free market capitalism. There are a lot of people who don't, and it's not fair for anybody. So we should all come together and stop being on different sides and going, no, this way works. You just need to do this, you know, and be more understanding and come together and find solutions as opposed to just creating more problems by digging in our heels and being <laughs> immovable. All right. So let's pull an energy oracle card. Can I get an energy oracle? I love it whenever it's the first shuffle. Okay, appreciation. So, I really feel like, I really feel like you need to show appreciation for this situation, I, I know this sounds bad. You know, someone's blocking movement and abundance in your life, you need to show appreciation. I know that sounds totally bad. But it's not, it's not showing appreciation for, it's not showing appreciation for what's happening, but what will happen once you, once you respond in the right way and move past the situation. Okay, learn the lesson you're supposed to learn that the universe is putting in your path. Show appreciation for the fact that you are, uh, that you get this opportunity to learn this, okay? Because when you learn it, then you don't have to repeat it, you know, because you will have responded in the way that the universe wants you to. You learn the lesson and you can move on and you grow and everything that happens next in your life is going to be moving past that situation, okay? So showing appreciation in whatever circumstance you're in doesn't mean you have to like it, doesn't mean you have to stay in it, doesn't mean you have to put up with a bunch of bullshit, doesn't mean any of that. What it does mean is showing appreciation that you are given a lesson to learn so this way you can finally move past it and grow, okay? On a spiritual, emotional uh, level that is going to ultimately affect your soul's journey, okay? All right, so uh, I hope everyone has had a uh, had a great time during this reading. I hope that it was clear. I hope that you were able to to resonate with it. Um, I was I felt like I was really flowing today. So um, so that that is like I'm so happy I'm able to do these readings again. I really really miss it. It felt like something was just missing in my life and uh, 
yeah, now that my hands are better and I'm able to shuffle more, I like to move to maybe twice a week because I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I can really, really, um, do these readings again. Um, and thank you guys so, so much for putting up with me <laughs> for those two months that I was not doing any, uh, readings. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and commenting on this video, and you guys have a wonderful day. Much light and love to all of you. Bye.